board members, I'm Richard Markison. I'm a member of the Free Enterprise Coalition. My clients are the American Fire Sprinkler Association, the Plumbing, Heating, Cooling Contractors of California, and the Western Electrical Contractors Association. All three organizations have a very vibrant uh, community of contractors in the area. They also, all three, operate state-approved apprenticeship program to train and dispatch apprentices. I've spoken to you as a group and individually before about this board's position that keeps most, if not all, of my members from competing for SMUD construction projects because of your decision to embrace an exclusionary project labor agreement on your construction and capital projects. I think you have a very unique opportunity at this point because you have rejected all four of the bids for the new East End project that you have an opportunity to now indicate to those four design builders that the project labor agreement will not be a component of the project and will have an opportunity to then compare projects that are bid under a project labor agreement and projects that are bid without a project labor agreement. There's considerable controversy, and I'm sure we'll get a very, another very nice letter from Mr. Kelly about how great project labor agreements are. But I would suggest to you that the benefits that SMUD and your ratepayers receive from the project labor agreement are illusory. There's nothing there for you or the ratepayers by excluding contractors from these projects. We would encourage you to direct your staff to delete the project labor agreement from the plans and specifications, and let's see what happens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rockison. Our next speaker is 